Hey guys, this is Harrow at UberTech, back with another video. Today's video is going to be an unboxing of the 509 Compact Tactical in FDE. Before I get started, I'd like to ask everybody to please subscribe. Every subscriber helps the channel grow. Now let's get back to the video. This video is not going to be like a really in-depth data on the gun. It's just more or less just an unboxing showing you what it comes with and give you some information here and there. So let's get into it. So it comes in this cardboard box and then it comes with this cool bag that they give you. It's the back, it has the two handles, it's got two zippers right here with plastic on the ends and it also has the two loops so this way you can lock it if you need it to. And and zip it. All right, first off, here is the gun. Put that aside. So, when you purchase this, you have to be careful. They have two options one is with, uh, I think, 310 round mags, and that's in case if you live in a state where you can only have the maximum of 10 round mags. Uh, this version comes with a 12 round mag. Fifteen round mag. And then a twenty-four round mag, which is pretty crazy. So let's get into this. So here it is. Make sure it's clear. And it is, there's no mag, and it looks really nice. The first thing that I notice is the, I guess these are like the sight protectors for your rear sight. It's pretty cool looking. It's different. I like it. it has the threaded barrel. The texture feels kind of good on the grip. This feels really nice right here. Feels pretty aggressive, but not too aggressive. I like it. Feels good. Actually, let's go with the smaller one. See how that feels. Oh, I could still get a full grip on it, which is nice. Let's try this. Yep, even better. Feels good. And let's see with the 24 rounder. Wow, that's crazy looking. That's crazy. <laughs> that looks cool, cool though. Four point thirty-two inch barrel. Overall length of the the uh, firearm is seven point four inches. The barrel has a one in ten twist rate, and it has this little thread protector that you could take off. The trigger is a hinge design, so if you see when you push this down, that's the only way that the trigger could be pulled. So I did a lot of looking around on the internet before I purchased this. A lot of people said that the trigger felt really gritty to them, and I wasn't sure if it was gonna feel the same to me, because I know there's a lot of people that are very picky about the triggers. Feeling it, I do feel the grittiness. So I understand what they're talking about. I don't know if that will uh, bother me. I guess what really it comes down to is how well does it shoot even though it has a gritty trigger. So let me feel the break. Again, making sure we're clear. So there's some take up. You hit that wall. It's a clean break. Reset's pretty short and you're right up against the wall again, like maybe like a, like just the slightest little movement. Watch. All right, there's the reset. And then, I mean, it's ever so slight. It's less than a millimeter. And then you're right back against that wall and you hit that clean break. I, I, I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. So there's a big difference between me ghosting the trigger here versus actually shooting it at the range. Once I get some rounds through this thing, I'll know better and I'll know if I like it 
I also think uh, eventually it'll break in and eventually it'll feel a little bit more smoother when you're pulling the trigger. The other thing it comes with is Trijicon night sights, which you can't really see because I think it's labeled on the side on the rear. But since these are here, it's blocking that. That's pretty nice that they come with Trijicon suppressor height sights. The other thing that's a real big feature for this firearm is that the cutout for the uh, optic is like a low profile, meaning that when you put the optic that you, let's say your red dot that you're going to use, it'll be set lower. So this way you can co-witness your irons with the red dot. And speaking of that, let's get into the rest of what this comes with. So you have this little zipper thing right here at the top. Let's see. It comes with your FN lock. And these are what I was going to start talking about. And you also get an additional recoil spring. This one is for if you're going to shoot suppressed. And you get your manual and some advertisement stuff, but it seems like it's decent enough. Put that aside. The firearm comes with a bunch of plates with it, so this way it'll fit all these different red dots. So you don't have to buy a separate plate. It all comes with the firearm. And so it comes with the screws, the mounting plate, everything. So it all comes in here. So the mounting plates and all the different screws and stuff are all there. So which is really nice. You don't have to go and buy anything extra. Um, I'll leave this up here so this way you can see all the different red dots it supports. The other thing that's really nice about this is that you don't have to use any thread locker. Normally when you would mount a red dot to a handgun, you want to use like some kind of thread locker so this way the screws don't back themselves out while you're shooting. FN built in something into the slide so this way when you put the screws in there, you don't need any Loctite at all, it just acts like Loctite. So once they're screwed in tight, they don't back out. I'll find out more about that as I put my red dot on here and I get some range time in. So the other thing to note is that it seems like there's a lot of things that are ambidextrous. So you have to slide lock right here and here. A lot of times you would have to swap out the mag release from left to right, but this is already there like the button works on either side. So you could press this for the mag to release or on this side, either one works. The only thing that's not ambi is the takedown lever right here. This also came with another back strap. So you could take out the pin right here and take out this piece and put a flatter back strap on here. So if you don't like that hump, you could put this one on there and it would be less of a hump. Nice little thing for it to come with. So first impressions, I really like the way it looks. Love the FDE. I like how it's not just the same color from the slide to the, to the grip module. Also, I like how they added this uh, sight protector in the back. Not so much because I'm rough on my guns or anything like that, but more or less just because it looks like different and it looks pretty cool. Also, I love how they gave you Trijicon suppressor height sights on this thing. So that's pretty cool. The trigger, I'm pleasantly surprised because I thought it was going to be a lot worse after hearing a lot of bad things on the internet. I'm also really happy with the different mags that they give you. It coming with a 12, 15, and 24 is awesome. Other than that, uh, the textures, there's a bunch of different types of texture on the grip, which I, I kind of like. It feels really good. It's not too aggressive where if, let's say you were to carry this as your everyday carry, it's not going to rip any holes in your shirt, but it does feel really good. It feels like once you grip this, it's not going to slide out if your hands were, let's say, wet or you had lotion on your hands. It's not really going to slip out of your hands. I'll know better when I go to shoot this thing at the range and certain first impressions might change after I've shot it. But my guess is I think I'm going to really like how this shoots just because how it feels in the hand and I really like a lot of the features that come with this this handgun. As far as the price tag, it might be pretty pricey, but 
just at first glance, it seems like you get a lot for your money. So again, first impressions, that's all I can think of right now. So stay tuned for the review. The review will give you way more information about the handgun. It'll give you all the specs, everything, and also it'll give you my opinion whether I think it's worth it to buy because I'll give it a score. But at first glance, I'm super excited to get some rounds downrange with this handgun. Guys, if you thought this video was helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Every subscriber helps the channel grow. And as always, thanks for watching my videos, and I'll see you in the next one.